Yeah. Sound check. We're almost there. It's been a long time since we made an update on this house. And we thought since we're going out here today to check up on things, we wanted to include you guys and show you what has happened since the last year when we were here. So any minute now, literally, not literally, but almost, and we are so excited to, to actually move in. And the main reason why we haven't moved in is because to actually live inside the house, you need to be connected to the grid. We would prefer to stay in our apartment if we have to go on a, one of those porta, porta parties. This is the only running water we have right now. And as you can see now, look at the pavement here, which looks so amazing. And we got palms. We got palm trees. As you can see, the panels are not on the house right now. And that's because they're just about to install the motors so that you can cover the house with them with the click of a button and you can remove them with the click of a button. It's gonna yeah. be so sick. But let's show you guys the inside of the house. This is our front door. Actually, it's one of the front doors because the second, the real front door is the elevator. The elevator usually will sit on the top floor and then once you have guests coming, they will enter through the elevator into the house. That is so cool. And for those of you who haven't seen our house here, we have a video um, book you can watch afterwards. Yes. But we are just going to show some of the additions, the changes, and let you guys know that we're almost there. We are. Come. You did stop drinking, but now we have a nice display for all our wines. This was recently installed and it's going to have these amazing leather straps here so that the wine can rest here. It's going to look incredible. Yeah. Um, incredible. What are we going to do exactly? Because if I'm going to look at wine just because of the de decor effect, I'll be tested every day. This was a slab of oak, but we actually had it painted. This was brushed a little bit more. It was too yellow before, yeah. so now it looks more oaky. Few changes that makes a big difference at the end. That's one small step for man. So last time when we filmed out here, it was a squat exercise every time we had to go up and down. Now we are trying to figure out which actual step we want. These are like solid volcanic rock from Madeira. I think we will settle on these because I picked a table for this house that has this like rustic little cut into uh, surface. Uh, what do you guys think? Personally, we love this raw uh, just piece of stone here and it's going to be treated, of course. I think these are a little bit too simple and, and, and square. What else, Amelia? We did have the company that are making our custom curtains. They came and they installed the curtain racks. So um, they will be electric? Yes, it's going to be amazing. Again, click of a button. This is the smartest house ever, ever. Um, and we cannot wait to make a video where we just go through all the smart features because there are so many. But I think one of the decisions that we will have to see if we made the right decision is that you insisted to get a big flat screen. So uh, we have this uh, TV called The Frame. When it's off, it looks like a painting. The brain, the computer of the t TV is going to be in here. So the actual TV will just go snug on the wall. And the reason why uh, I chose the 70 percent, uh, the 70 inch is because when you are in the pool or the jacuzzi, I, you will be able to actually see what's going on on the TV. Yeah, that's nice. And I think. And also, when it's not on, that's how I agreed to it. When it's not on, it's a frame, it's an art piece. And I do like the idea of having this big art piece here that you can always change depending on your mood. Look how it looks like a, a, a it looks painting. It looks like a painting. It's, it's amazing. I love this TV. Guys, they planted plants. This is one of the things that excites me the most about this house this contrast between futuristic, modern, and just nature. One of the things that we insisted not having is chlorine water. So what is actually gonna go in the pool jacuzzi is magnesium or mineral water. It's super good for your skin, it's anti-inflammatory, it improves your sleep. It's just super- It's, it's like, like a wellness It's pool. like a wellness actually going down in it. So although you still have chlorine molecules in it, but it's nothing compared to normal chlorine water. So here, uh, it's actually already done, but um, we're protecting it because they're still doing work here. But 
eventually you'll see beautiful oak. Yeah, and every single step has a light in it. It's so pretty. And um, this Up is one of, one of our favorite features is the light that comes through. This will be our office space. But then if we have a meeting or something, we just slide this door over. Ta-da! Of course, we are going to use this as our office. But if you don't work from home, for example, you could have like a guest room, so you could have like a day bed here. And then if you have like, if your kids have friends over or whatnot, you could actually make it into a little sleeping area. Now you can take a shower without splashing everywhere. That's a good indication that we're almost there. Yeah, that's and, true. And um, these ones, look at those. They're so pretty, they're gonna be here. Yeah. And then we will have this black uh, cover with two sinks. In here, everything is done. We just need the bed which will be carpentry. Yes, that, that is also custom made. It's going to be so beautiful. It's made with this fabric. It's going to be... We have a little mirror. Yeah, well, it's actually... You a... finally got your full body uh, mirror. Maybe. Yes, maybe I will lose weight now when I can see my whole body. Oh, <laughs> don't be mean to my, to my girlfriend. This is actually the guest room, but sometimes I'm like, maybe we, we should use this because when you wake up to this view, it's incredible. Let's go to the master bedroom. Same thing here. We will have this large bed, also carpentry, of course. And then we might install the TV here, but I don't think we will, because I'm a bit against having TVs in, in the bedroom. Um, but I love watching TV in the bed. It's one of the things when you're at a hotel, you know, and there's a TV right at the end of the bed. It's like, it's so convenient. Then you order room service and you just Yes, and I have room service here. Let's go to the bathroom. The master bathroom, yes. Aurelia. Yes. One of the things that I love the most about this house is the switchable glasses. So yeah. when you see these wires hanging from the window, it's because when you go on your phone and you need to pee, you can switch the glass. You just like... And then you can tick. see through it. It's so amazing. But of course, once all the landscaping is done and the trees, you, you won't really be able to see the other house. I cannot wait to take a shower under this. The, the engineer, she had to like install a crazy pump to circulate the a water up. Pumps. Yeah, a lot of pumps to make sure that this has a lot of um, power. And even better is actually on the outside. Jon and I are hedonistic people by nature, right? So when we wake up in the morning, we have our coffee out here in two chairs that I bought. And then after the coffee, this tub is filled with water and you will sit down here and plunge. Do you think you're ever going to use it, Jon? I mean, I never use the... The tub, the unless tub. it was ice bath. We will probably find a way to install like an actual ice machine or ice bath plunge, maybe in the garden. That would I be actually cool. have um, ordered. That would be cool. We will get a uh, pro ice bath. You ordered? Uh, it's coming. My dream has always been to have an ice bath that you can just go down in and it's always uh, three degrees Celsius rather than ice cubes. So Lumi therapy where we um, Oh, they're the one that makes the bed. one we have now. I'm gonna get one from there. You should too. Use our code. <laughs> I want to start clarifying that there is nothing in here. So it's just for the, the look of it. And that's why I decided to put the disc here. It will be like a black disc. And then we will have like an um, armchair and a big plant here. And you all, all this is already here, sitting in a storage unit. We have so many s things, you know, just waiting to be unboxed. Yeah. For example, all the electronics, all the accessories, the home parts, the outdoor Bang & Olufsen speaker. It's, it's I... excruciatingly hard for me as a gear acquisition syndrome person to just look at the boxes not being unboxed. So one of the things that has been hard for me is to not go overboard with stuff here because you have this big wall that could have some art on it. But I have decided in this house not to go Kim Kardashian on the interior, but to make it kind of minimal and then let the architecture speak for itself, you know. I bought a little console here to put here, to put like keys and stuff when you come home. And then I bought a bunch of greenery that we will hang from up here that will come and cover this. We this is our sun beds. They're going inside the pool. They're a little bit down, so the water will be up until here. So you won't be, you, you can just feel it on your skin. You can feel the water just caressing you. We have a cover outside because there's something we have to show you. 
we will have a huge bonsai tree in this uh, flower bed that's going to be so pretty plus it will be lit at night i love bonsai trees i've had so many but they've all died on me for some reason this i'm not planting myself so it will you live you didn't plant any of the others yourself either Amelia, what do we got here? We got our pergola. Pergola? Pergola? Per per pergola. Pergola. And we're going to paint it black, of course. And we're trying to figure out what to grow on it because we want greenery on it, but we don't want berries. We don't want fruits. We don't want anything that can stain our tiles. We talked about passion fruit, no? I talked about passion fruit because when they fall to the ground, they're easy to pick up. Also pumpkin, maybe. Just imagine it's all just covered in nature. Yeah. Um, speaking of nature, we have some baby trees here. This is probably 10% of all the things that are going to be planted in this flower bed. It's going to be so beautiful once it's done. This is my outdoor kitchen. We will have a sink and we will have a fridge. And then I was wondering if I could get like a little tray island that I could just roll out and then stand here and cut my vegetables. Look guys, can you tell the difference from last time? Welcome to the garden guys. This whole land here we bought. It's going to be incredible. We love the fact that we're going to have a garden, but it is also the main reason that we are not moving in today. We decided with our neighbor that we wanted this garden and that has postponed some things because they have to fix the garden before we can make the driveway and before we can connect the grid. So that's what we're waiting for. So we will have steps down and then in this garden, we will have grass and then inside the grass, we will have all these round flower bits. And what, we will, what will we have in them? Organic vegetables of all sorts and everything you can imagine. We will have 25 circular flower beds and um, we have uh, two permaculture guys working on it with us to pick out what uh, is the best uh, solution for each uh, flower bed because we want to have the highest yield. It's one of the things that excites us the most because this will enable us to not really go out and, uh, and buy as many uh, groceries. Exactly, we can just go down. I actually said to you, I wanted like a hoisting system so that I could just use our, we have the, the staircase, so we could use the staircase just to hoist all the vegetables up. But I mean, that's stupid. You, you have ordered the pillows for this, right? Yes, I made, I, I had these customized cushions made for, for this, uh, this area. And then we'll have a fire pit here, a smokeless fire oh, pit that Jon found. You Snoop Dogg endorsed it. Uh, I saw it on Instagram. I just, I had, I had to get it. I'm going smokeless. Solo stove fixed fire. They took out the smoke. Clap. One of the things that we're actually quite uh, happy with is that we will move in before all of this is done. So that way we will be more hands-on every day. I might take up drinking once we move in here. Yeah, you kind I of... I feel like everything I'm romanticizing about is drinking white wine in the pool, on the balcony, in the kitchen. I might be an alcoholic too, Jon. And here, guys, you can already see how much the greenery adds to the coziness. These are all babies, so once they get bigger and we have water in... Oh my God! Before we wrap it up, Amelia, what are some of the furniture here you are most excited about? One thing that I haven't even wrapped out and checked is the um, cushions that will go in this soaked-in lounge. We had them custom-made to fit here and there, and it will just be incredible. One thing that I'm a little concerned about is the big lounge couch thing that you wanted for the TV. I vetoed, I, th I threw the veto card on it and I said I need a couch that you can sit in and feel comfortable in. It was a, a bit of a change in my mindset because I had thought about no TV and then two uh, lounge chairs to look outside. But Jon is right, we do like watching TV now and then and sitting here will be really cool. We have this like chaiselong couch. You can actually change it. So we found one that is like flexible. Can you ask them to, to stop uh, making noise next door? <laughs> we should get a console or something so we can start playing. PS5? I want to play Taken. When we bought the house, it already came with a library area. And the only thing I read is cookbooks because I'm super dyslexic. But still, we will have a nice, super comfy chair here with some blankets and some pillows in it and then I will put my audio book in and look at the actual books that 
I bought only for decorative purposes. <laughs> we have our fire pit lounge out here and I decided to put some really low seatings here because we have this soaked in lounge on the inside and I still want to be able to see the view when I sit in there. So I got these like almost sun beds that are on the ground. It's literally just like a little inclination on your on your back and that's all. Incline. Incline. What in did I inclination. 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 Inc inc I think one thing I realized with this house versus an apartment where we live now is that we will have a garden. We can walk barefoot on grass, like something that I'm craving. I don't know, am I getting old? No, I totally agree. That's something I used to appreciate when I was a child. So if anything, you're just getting younger. We're Same gonna grow, grow young here together. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I hope and think that next time we make a video out here, it is because we are Moved putting in. in the furniture. Yeah, we are almost there and a new epic chapter is about to start. Mm. Can't wait. Go join us on uh, Patreon. Oh yeah, Finally. actually. We have to be better at telling people that we have a Patreon because We're... every Sunday... We have a new exclusive video for you guys. We also have more of a community feel there, yeah. so go hang out with us there. And we are going to do a lot more content coming up about all the small and sometimes mundane things. Some things that uh, a lot of you have been, uh, been, been asking for, so now we're giving it to you. See you guys. See you. We forgot to mention Mini Levadas, guys. We will have water in this in the name of Madeira. <laughs>